next we're going to do a double double fisherman's and this is used to attach two pieces of rope preferably the same size okay we're going to cross over the rope this is where we're going to do our double fisherman's right here you need enough rope on the end of this actually you have to make sure that that's one of the key things that you get correct in this knot we're going to start here what we're going to do is we're going to start here we're going to loop around this rope we want to keep these straight together Make sure we have enough so we're going to back up and we're going to go this way we're going to go the opposite way this rope just came from actually i don't have enough rope so we're going to get some more okay so once twice and it's stronger as you do more so let's just make it real strong let's go all the way up to here so once twice then this is going to be the third wrap. What we're going to do is after you've done that, this end goes through there. That's the direction the rope was originally traveling. So you have something that looks like this. It's nice and neat. It's put together. And this will slide. Okay, we'll get a, we'll go through something similar to this in a little bit, which does the same concept. To the other side, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to wrap the other rope, and then you're going to twist backwards. So one. Two, oh, not enough rope. See, got to make sure you have enough. Let's go right here. One, two. This will be the third one going through. Make sure these are on similar sides. We're going to go through there. Okay, we're going to tighten that up. Okay, and one way that you know you've done this correctly. is these indentations where this one comes in the other one comes in also and so in this case it's actually not done correctly i know because they don't match up that's an easy indicator to know that they don't match so if you want to do it perfectly let's see how we did this what i did there actually is i went the opposite way instead of going that way believe I should be going this way. Uh, I guess it does matter. I don't know specifically if it would matter. Um, they're both the fisherman, double fisherman's knot. One just looked like it would hold up better than the other, which is going to be this way, I believe, where the knots are facing the right direction. Um, the other one, I don't see any problems with it, but again, we'll just be sure to teach the right thing here. Okay, and now this is what I was referring to. When you go to this side, as these cinch together, see how this rope comes in, that rope comes in, they sort of just mesh together right there. And it creates a tighter fit. Um, this optimal tail length is good. This one, it'll hold up perfectly fine. I would probably be okay supporting my weight on that, but I'd like it a little longer, preferably. But if I tied that, I'd be okay with it. And what that is, as you pull it, those knots are gonna tighten around each other, and it will create a pretty much a seamless knot all the way through there and that's just for making a loop Let's go ahead and separate these as you pull on it it gets tighter so luckily we just pulled with our hands we didn't put full body weight on it so we just separate the knots and these are sliding knots and we can loop this back through and this is the double fisherman's knot